Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today. Good morning from my very sleepy voice. I apologize. I will keep this portion brief because my voice takes a little while to wake up in the morning, but it is just now seven and I finished my morning routine before Rose wakes up and I just wanted to say hey you guys. I am wearing a new dress this morning and I'll show you guys that in more detail here in a second. I also got a new camera. I've actually had this camera since Christmas but just haven't been brave enough to take it out and try it for vlogging. So here we are. I'm actually pretty excited about using this. So I just want to keep the intro brief. Wanted to say hey. I'll show you my outfit and then we'll get on with the day. So not the best outfit of the day reveal but we're working with what we got. This is the dress. It is a maxi length dress in this beautiful linen and silk material. Very romantic, very flowy. Makes me so happy. And I really love it. It's from the brand Linen Nave, I believe. And it's just quintessential Jane Austen feeling vibes. So yeah, that is my fit for today. Making the ordinary just a little more special. So it has been just a bit since I've talked to you guys last. I just got Rosie down for her afternoon nap and it has turned into the dreariest of rainy days and it's very cozy. So I thought this afternoon, I have a couple things on the agenda. First is to update my computer. So I'm wanting to kind of up my game on editing these vlogs as seeing it as more of a creative outlet for me. But in order to do that, I need to update my computer. Now I tried doing this yesterday to no avail, so I'm going to try and work on that first thing this afternoon. Then I have a couple things to share with you guys. I have some fabric that just came in the mail, and then I just found a recent antique find that I figured I would share with you. And then after that, if there is time, I think I might just cozy up and watch, or not watch, read my book. So I'm currently reading the book Middlemarch, which I have never read before. I've seen the BBC mini series a couple years ago and I don't remember what I thought of it which means that I probably liked it but I was a little confused on the story normally when I don't have a memory in my head of a show or what I think of it normally that's the case so I started reading the book I'll have to show you guys my copy I'll grab it here in a second and I have loved it it's very different from anything I've ever read it's a period drama book I would say but it's very different from like a Jane Austen so I think I might just after I'm done with all of my other tasks sit and read that for a little bit this afternoon because it is the perfect day to sit and read a book let me go grab that copy um, the lighting might get really bad so I'll maybe set you guys down and show you here in just a second I'm having to film this in the kitchen because it's literally the only place with good lighting right now this is my copy of Middlemarch and it's so beautiful is it gonna Focus, there we go. And then here is the binding, and I think it's just so beautiful. It was, this version was printed in 1889, so the pages are probably the most fragile pages I've ever felt in a book. Um, but I'm about halfway. Uh, a wedding invitation is my 
bookmark. Um, and I don't know, I just, I'm really, really enjoying it. It's something different. The story is a little bit more complex than I would say like a Jane Austen story. And you're, you're following these two people in this chapter, or these three people in this chapter. And of course they all like intertwine, but they each pretty much have their own section. So it's very interesting. A lot of character development, which I really enjoy in books and movies. And it's just been a joy to read. So I am gonna go grab my computer, sit down and work on that for a little bit. I just made myself a cup of green tea and we will get to working on that. Hopefully I don't get too frustrated because I was getting really frustrated with it yesterday. So fingers crossed. So after many frustrated hours, she is complete. She's done, she's updated, she's looking so fine. Um, so super happy that that is done. And now we'll do my little one type of fabric haul and then I'll show you the other thing I got when we were antique shopping. I've been like sitting at my piano to do a little haul for you guys. So. First, I actually just picked this up today. My mom and I went for a very quick trip to the antique mall and look at, let me see if I can't get it where it's not gonna glare. Look at this painting. Oh, it's gonna glare all over the place. It is of apple blossoms and it's green and pink with a gold frame. I just think it's so beautiful. I have no idea where I'm going to hang this, but this is definitely my style. I'm so sorry that it's so um, reflection-y, but I was really happy to get this. My mom actually got this for me, so I was very thankful. Thank you, mother. And then the next thing I have to show you guys, I have a little story behind. So I have been wanting to make a circle skirt. So I made a circle skirt for Christmas following my favorite YouTuber, Lauren Johnson, her tutorial that she had for making a circle skirt. Absolutely loved it. And so I told myself for the summer this year, I wanted to sew a summer circle skirt. I was so excited and I picked up some of this fabric from Rifle Paper Company. I love this fabric. I actually made a dress out of this fabric, um, but I loved it so much I wanted to get it again. This is probably my favorite Rifle Paper Company fabric. It is my style in a fabric. So I was so excited. I laid it out yesterday and realized that with the way you have to make a circle skirt, the pattern would end up being like this on the circle skirt. So we're not going to use this for a circle skirt. I'm going to buy a different fabric for that project. So I now have five yards of this fabric. So I think I may end up making a dress. Now this is a dress I have made before. I followed Lauren Johnson's tutorial on this as well. Pretty much anything sewing related, I follow her videos. Um, so I have made this dress right here and it had the ruffle so you added a ruffle and I may end up making that style of dress with this fabric. I feel like this fabric is a little bit more like Regency romantic inspired and with the empire waist on this dress I think I may I think it may suit the pattern really well. Now I have made this pattern twice now First time was my first dress I ever made. It was a white dress with muslin. I had a lot of fit issues. I had never sewn before. I had no idea what I was doing. So I adjusted the fit as well as I could, which is a nice way of saying I completely butchered the back of it, but it was wearable. So then I tried making the dress a second time with a different fabric. And let's just say I had sizing issues again. So I kind of just scrapped the whole project and figured I'm like, I'm never gonna make this pattern again, but I love this style on me in particular. So what I think I may end up doing is buying an old sheet 
and transferring this pattern onto there and then adjusting the fit with those pattern pieces from the sheet. So my best friend told me about this life changing because if you've never sewn before, the paper for these is incredibly thin. It rips really easily. I get so frustrated cutting out fabric because it rips all the time. So I think I may end up doing that with this one just so I can adjust the fit to where it actually fits me properly. It's just the bust fits very strange on this dress. So I will probably end up doing that. And I think in the next vlog, we will start working on this. This is gonna be quite the project because dresses kick my behind when I am trying to sew. I have only sewn four or five things in my entire life. Like I am not a seamstress by any means. Um, but I'm kind of excited for the challenge. So instead of making a circle skirt, I'm gonna do a dress with this and I will let you guys know what I end up buying for the circle skirt and I figured I would take you along with that as well. So yeah, a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. So anyway, it's getting a little bit lighter out now, just a skinch. So I think I'm gonna sit and read and I may actually work on editing this vlog a little bit just because I only really like working on it when my daughter Rose is sleeping. So I may do that actually before I read just cause I have the candles burning as you can see in the background. So it might be a, night, might be a nice little ambiance, but let's do that for a little while and read and then I will talk to you guys in a little bit. counter now after getting some stuff done so I finished working on my vlog a little bit more I'm not gonna lie you guys this has been so much fun for me I have loved having a nicer camera to work with I've always loved DSLR like videos just the quality is so much better the aperture is a lot more adjustable than on an iPhone, basically where you have like the background a little bit more blurry and something else in focus. I love the look of that. I also love the look of the camera kind of moving, not like shaky, kind of like how I was earlier trying to show you guys my outfit, but just moving a little bit. It just makes it feel more intimate to me for some reason. And so editing some of these clips has just brought me so much joy. So you guys will have to let me know how you like this. I'm definitely going for more of like the slow living, romanticizing your life vibe. Obviously you guys know that life doesn't always look like this, but I love highlighting the parts that you can romanticize in your life. And maybe it's not every day, but it can be in those everyday moments, maybe once a week that you burn a candle or use a teacup. And I don't know, I just like documenting them for you guys. So I think I am actually going to end the talking portion of the vlog here. I had so much fun filming for you guys and I'm hoping if things clear up to take you guys in the garden later on this evening, but I have about an hour before Rose wakes up. So I think I'm just going to read a little bit more. Yeah, hopefully I can show you guys my garden. But if you guys did enjoy watching today's video, please let me know in the comment below. You make a subscribe if you would like to. And just thank you guys for spending your time on my channel today. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Mwah. There is no place I'd rather be 
They're right here next to you And I truly love to talk about your lovers old and new You never spare me details as you confide in me I smile and give advice but cannot tell you how I How easy it would be to fall for you But that of course is something I won't do